So what is the best choke tube constriction for Federal Premium TSS? Well, today's a great day to find out. Carlson's and Muller gave me several of the choke tubes used in this video. Mossberg gave me the shotgun and Hollis Sun gave me the red dot. George here with the New Hunter's Guide YouTube channel and podcast. I'm a regular hunter who just so happens to have a PhD and a low tolerance for marketing hype, trying to help people figure out what really works and what doesn't. And today we have a viewer requested video. We're gonna try to find out what is the best choke tube constriction for this ammo right here. This is Federal Premium TSS, three inch, one and three quarter ounce, number nine, traveling at 1,200 feet per second. We're gonna test it today against this assortment of choke tubes. All right, now guys, before I even tell you what the choke tubes are, please spare me in the comments. This is not a best choke tube video for best brand of choke tubes. It is about the best constriction. All right, I have picked here what I think are the five most interesting choke tubes that I have in stock in order to find out which constriction, not brand, which constriction is best for this ammo. Four of these are Carlson's choke tubes and one of them's a Mueller choke tube and you'll find out more in a moment. All right, so the first one on the list right here, I have a Carlson Sporting Clays extra full choke tube, constriction of 0.69. Now you might be thinking, but George, that's, that's, that's not a turkey choke tube. You are correct, brilliant observation. One, we wanna find out, hey, do you really even need a turkey choke tube to use this ammo? What would happen with just a regular, plain old, run of the mill, extra full choke tube? Then we've got Carlson's official turkey choke tube right here. This is a 0 0.670 constriction. It is their run of the mill, nondescript, no bells and whistles, turkey choke tube. Then here we've got our Carlson's Winchester Longbeard XR choke tube with a constriction of 0 0.60. Then we got right here our Carlson's Heavyweight TSS Choke Tube with a constriction of 0 .640. Now guys, this is the tightest choke tube that I am aware of, period. It is branded for the Federal TSS. It is Carlson's Choke Tube for this ammo. And then against it, we have the Muller UFO Turkey Choke Tube which doesn't have a constriction. Muller doesn't do constrictions, they do geometry. So they have a completely different system and style of choke tubes. We're gonna run these five choke tubes with this ammo at 50 yards. Now, George, 50 yards? I thought the standard was 40 yards. The standard is 40 yards for lead and just about everything else. But if you're gonna be paying $15 a shot for TSS, you better be able to shoot further than 40 yards. So for me, the baseline for TSS is 50 yards. See what it can do there. I bought this ammo with my own money to test for you guys here. Why not more choke tubes than these five? Well, you know how much this ammo costs? All right, so we're gonna head down to the range and we're gonna run these through my Mossberg 940 Pro Turkey with its 24 inch barrel topped with a Hollow Sun 507K red dot. I made it down to the range. I got the Mossberg loaded up here with the extra full choke tube, 0 0.690 constriction. And we'll take our first shot here with the Federal TSS. All right, now we'll change chokes. I now have the Carlson's Turkey Choke 0 0.670, and we'll take our next shot. All right, we'll change chokes. Now we have our Winchester Longbeard Choke Tube at 0.66 constriction, and let's go ahead and throw another $15 downrange. And one more. And now we have our Carlson's Federal Heavyweight Choke Tube. This was the choke designed to go with this ammo right here, 0.64 constriction. And I was wrong, we have one more choke to go. And last but not least, we have our Muller Choke Tube, the UFO of an undisclosed constriction, and we'll throw our last $15 downrange. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at these patterns. But first, guys, I would encourage you, go ahead, hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. If you like reviews, field tests, kicking the tires on assumptions, why don't you also go ahead and hit subscribe as well. All right, let's look at these patterns. We've got five dead turkeys here. I'm gonna zip through these pretty quick, but you may wanna just stop, rewind, go back, take a look at them. Of course, afterwards, I'm gonna count them all up. Let's take a look at the first one. We got the extra full choke. Good pattern. Dead turkey. Then we've got our regular turkey choke. Good pattern. Dead turkey. Then we've got our long beard. I was a little up to the right. Good pattern. Then we've got our extra heavy full. I was over to the right for sure. Very dense. Then we've got our UFO. Good pattern, dead turkey. All right, guys, so we've got us five dead turkeys here. Now the one, I was off maybe a little too far. We might even call that a miss, but still a dead turkey. However, you could sight these in to hit dead on with whatever you're using. So what I'm gonna do is draw a 10 inch circle over the densest part of each pattern, count up the pellets, get them into a chart, and show you guys the data. All right guys, we're gonna take a look at this data, but first a couple benchmarks here. Number one, I have a personal minimum standard for when I think about turkey hunting for 100 pellets in a 10 inch circle at whatever range I intend to hunt. All right, whether that's 50 yards, 40 yards, 30 yards, whatever range I'm gonna hunt at, I wanna make sure my ammo can put at least 100 pellets in a 10 inch circle. To me, that guarantees a quick, clean, and effective kill. You may have a different standard, but that's my standard. So we're gonna keep that in mind here as we take a look at this data for this particular ammo. All right, check it out. The extra full choke tube, 131 pellets at 50 yards, not 40, 50 yards. <clears throat> the turkey choke tube, 135 pellets at 50 yards. All right, now better than the extra full, but the extra full, I think did the job just fine, well over 100 pellets. Then we have the long beard choke tube, 191 pellets, way more pellets. Very impressive jump there with just a little bit more constriction. Then we go to the heavyweight TSS choke tube, 198 pellets. All right, nice jump, even still above the long beard, and then the UFO choke tube at 105 pellets. You look at the pellet density, all right, 21%. 21%, 30%, 31%, and 17%. All right, so what does this data tell us? Well, it tells us that the Federal Premium TSS likes constriction. The more constriction, the better. The tighter the choke tube, the better. Very impressive stuff here. Um, I would not have thought that quite often, a little bit less constriction performs better, but the tighter we choke this, the better it performs. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, God bless you and go get them in the woods.